Hi, my name is Jan Reinder. And when I was six years old, wait, before I say this, um, I want everybody to think of a name. Just the first name, like Donald, but don't use that name. <laughs> when I was six years old, wait, 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 wait. Do you ever ask yourself the question, am I happy? Am I healthy enough? Or am I loved enough? Think about this. I'll come back to this later. Yes, when I was six years old, my mom asked me the question, what is your dream? What do you want to be when you grow up? And I answered her, I want to be a pilot. Sir, when you were young, when you were six, what did you dream of? Me? Yeah? Uh, I want to join the army. You want to join the army? Okay. And you, my lady? I wanted to be a princess. A princess? <laughs> oh. Well, from a group like this, statistics say that most of you, when you're young, you dreamed of becoming a firefighter, a police officer, uh, a pilot or an astronaut, a dancer like a ballerina, or more the exotic ones, princess or superhero. Raise your hand if you became one of these professions. <laughs> you, sir? Oh, no, nobody. How come? What happened? Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't become a pilot either. Apparently, along the way, we become influenced, and things turned out differently. Because when I was eight, my mom, she placed me on this circus school, this children's circus school. And from that day on, I love to perform. But as I say, during time, things will change. A few years later, I'm on high school. And in high school, you have to make one of the most important decisions in your life. What do you want to become when you grow up? Um, there wasn't anybody like a specialist, like a doctor who helped me. No, it was just, in my case, a computer. One of these old ones where you can put a floppy disk in. I think Donkey Kong was the game that was popular at that time. And that computer decided my destiny. And it decided that I had to become an architect. Even my teacher said this, like, Jan, it would be wise if you become an architect. Because the computer says so. <laughs> so I let myself influence by this computer, this stupid computer, and I studied to become an architect. We all have our dreams, but are we in control to make our dreams come true? Or are we more influenced by the things around us, like our family, our friends, the media? Do they have a bigger impact on us? And if that's true, how much influence do we have on other people? And can I influence you? Uh, sir, with the, I think the mustache, the coat, you sir, the glasses, you're looking the side. <laughs> what is your name? Jan. Jan, great name. <laughs> um, I want you to think of a word, and you can think of any word you want, and you can change your mind as many times as, want, as you want. Would you be amazed? if the word you are thinking on right now would be printed on my t-shirt. Yes or no? no. <laughs> you would not be amazed. You have high expectations, I presume. <laughs> you, you could think of any word. You can change your mind as many times as you want. Would you be amazed? No? no? Let's use somebody else then. Sir. <laughs> He's not amazed. Uh, what is your name? Richard. Richard. Richard! Uh, you could think of any word you want. Would you be amazed if the word you are thinking of, not the word Jan is thinking of, the word you are thinking of would be printed on my T-shirt? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Amazing. Pure out of interest. Um, do you know at this moment what's printed on my T-shirt? No. He said no. You're right. Very good, very good. Jan already answered this as well. He's also said no, but uh, <laughs> sounds like a free choice, isn't it? 
Uh, of course, I manipulated his outcome, <laughs> something the media loves to do. In my case, I do it for entertainment purpose only. But how would it be if I could really control and influence your actions and your mind? Secretly, we all want this power. With the right words or intentions, we can move people, teach people, mm, lead an organization or a country, change beliefs, let your girlfriend throw away the trash, or control the election, the US election, in five days. Let's use the election as an example. In a minute, you, uh, we're going to decide here in our room, we're going to do a little election, and one of you is going to be president. President of TEDx Breda just for one day. Um, I'm going to throw this paper ball in the audience. The person who catches it the third time, um, he can stand up. There we go, first time, the third time. There we go. Hop. Somebody catch it? Okay. Uh, where is it? You can throw it one more time. And you can throw it one more time. Perfect. Back to you. A little ping pong. Oh, my lady. What is your name? Cindy. Cindy, Cindy have you paid attention? I hope so. I hope so. Do you know what's printed on my T-shirt? No. That's too bad. Throw it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's nobody. Uh, somebody can pick this, this paper ball up. Yeah, perfect. Sir, um, have you paid attention? Yes. yes or no? Do you know what's printed on my T-shirt? Yes. yes, you're spot on. <laughs> Very good. I think, um, uh, do you have somebody in mind, a person, a name? Yes, uh, somebody you can easily remember because in a minute I'm going to ask you this name so it's important that you remember it. You have this name? Yes, I do. Perfect. Um, last question. What is your favorite color? Red. Red. So more Republican. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, I think you're perfect. Uh, please stand up and join me on stage. Give this guy a nice applause. Make some room, make some room. Paul. Uh, give it up for Paul. Very good. You're in the center of this spot. In a minute, uh, you are going to choose a president from this audience, Paul. Very exciting. Okay. But first, we are going for a slogan. Uh, the slogan, we are not going to decide, but the audience is going to decide the slogan. So think of a slogan for our presidential campaign. This could be, yeah, thank you for your enthusiasm, but I'll count to three. <laughs> um, this can be anything like game on, or yes we can, or make us strong again, something like this, or da di da, tra di da, anything you want. You can decide. I'll count to three, think of the slogan, and uh, name it out loud so everybody can hear it. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Dreams true, okay, you ta di da di Oh, dreams can come true, sorry. What did you say? Go for it. Go for it. Um, somebody else? Spring break. Spring break. <laughs> Where was that? <laughs> Up over there. I think I like dreams can come true and spring break would be lovely. Um, because I'm not going to decide about it. I don't want to influence you. We will do it like this. We'll throw this um, coin up. It's a, it has a head and a tails. Mm -hmm. You're going to throw the coin up and put it on the other side of your hand like this. Go ahead. And hide it so nobody can see it. <laughs> yeah, some time to practice. You didn't, so you didn't see which, no. which one was underneath? You haven't looked? No. Okay. Let me let's, <laughs> let's do it like this. If, um, what was it, spring break? And dreams can come true. Uh, somebody from Disney here? <laughs> okay, um, 
if it's uh, dreams, if, if it's uh, uh, tales, then we go for dreams can come true. If it's hat, we go for spring break. Reveal what it is. It is, uh, what was it? <laughs> we, we do it one more time. I, I forgot. It is, it's confusing because it's not real. It's which mm -hmm. one is the tails? Which one is? Let this is the hat. Okay, let's do it one more time. I, what did I say? Hats is? Spring Throw it again. <laughs> Good. <laughs> don't, sh don't look at it yet. <laughs> don't look at it yet. <laughs> Hide it for everybody. Um, if it's, uh, what did I say? If it's tails, we go for... Uh, Dreams can come true. Yeah. Um, let's go for heads. Dreams can come true. Tails. Spring break. Show it. What is it? Huh? We go for dreams can come true. Yay! <laughs> hmm. Okay, I love the enthusiasm. Um, let's do it like this. Now we have our um, slogan. Now we're going to decide our president. Everybody's elected. But for clarity and for speed purposes, we're not going to choose everybody. So we're go just going to uh, choose uh, a bunch of you, the ones who are closest here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, still here. You can all join me on stage. Uh, give it up for our presidential candidates. <laughs> You can stand here in the line, the first one over here. Very good. Look at the audience, very good. There are our presidential candidates. Give it up for our presidential candidates. I see they loving their role already. Uh, let's see what their names are. What's your name, sir? Glenn. Glenn? Yes. If you're in the White House, what are you going to change? Um, gonna make playfulness. Playfulness, good answer, good answer. What's your name, sir? Arlo. Arlo, too difficult, yeah, you're never going right. to be president. <laughs> but <laughs> what is your Antoine? Antoine. Ant Antoine, Antoine, okay. Right. Antoine, uh, it's okay, good. And what, would you, what is the name of the, uh, the first lady? Uh, Michelle. Michelle? Of your first lady? Oh, my first yeah, lady? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's uh, Marik. Marik, <laughs> Marik, okay. Um, what is your name? Joshua. Joshua, very good, very good. Um, if you could change one thing, what would you change? I would make gaming more acceptable in society. Gaming more acceptable in uh, society. Very good. What is your name? Hi, I'm Lucy. Lucy, very Lucy, nice. Yeah. Are you more uh, Democrat or rec Republican? Mm, Democrat. Democrat, very good. And as last? Kim. Kim. Yeah. Also, a bit of a girl's name doesn't work really in the United States. Uh, I don't you. think you're going to make it. Uh, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are going to make the decision. But in this case, I want you to go with your instinct, just like the real elections. So don't think too much about it. Pure instinct. Point out to three people that can step, make one step forward. So point, pure out of instinct, point to three people that take one step forward. One, two, three. You guys can leave. Bye bye. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 the, the, the guys who, who shake the hands, you can leave, so you can leave, perfect, you can leave as well. Um, you still here? Okay. Um, take two of their hands, you can sit down. But the, not all of you, the ones who he shake his hand. Yeah, so you're not, you're still here, you're still in the race, very good. Um, take two persons by the hand and lead them to the front of the stage. So two persons, take them by the hand, no, take them, escort them. Escort them, very good. Very good. And another one. Okay, very good. You guys, I said it, Kim doesn't work. You guys can leave as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah. So that means very fast election race. We have a winner. And your name was? Anton. Anton. Ladies and gentlemen, new president for TEDx Preda. Anton. <laughs> very good. Um, Anton, I'm very happy you are the president here. Um, before I started, we now have a, a slogan. What was the slogan again? Dreams can come true. We have Anton as president. We only need a vice president. In the beginning, I ask everybody to think of a name. You have a name in mind. Mm. Am I right? On this notepad, I want you to write down 
the name you had in mind in big capital letters so everybody can see it uh, later. But now, for now, hide it so that they can't see it. Yeah, um, Write it down, let the ink dry out, and then hold it against your chest. Very good. But don't let them see it. Good. Anton, please join me on the red circle, no, uh, our president. In the beginning, I said, would it be possible if I could influence the outcome? The funny thing is, I had the outcome with me all the time. Um, on my back, I have an uh, envelope. Could you please take it off my back? Very good. It says? Outcome. Outcome. Could you open it up, please? Inside, there is a, a letter. Very good. We don't need this anymore. And you could read out loud what says on the... Don't roll it up yet all the way, but first part. Read out loud what it says. Uh, first of all... Do we have a microphone, by the way? I'll talk loud. You talk loud, yeah. perfect. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for selecting me as your president. Go on. Yeah, we have a microphone, very good. There you go. Okay. Uh, it's a great honor. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, to take the moment to thank some people. Uh -oh. uh, my mother and father. Of course, yeah. My brother. Oh, there are so many people to thank. My cousin Ben. He has been a big influ uh, fl uh, he has been a big influence on me. Uh, sorry, I'll stick to the scripts. Thank you. Um, <laughs> continue, continue. Or if you want, uh, I can tell this great story about cousin Ben. Oh, never mind. I'll take over. <laughs> um, but please read with me, so uh, you're sure that everything I say is really on this paper. I, Jan Reinder, predict that after choosing a random person from the audience, where we have. Um, uh, that after choosing a random person from the audience, a coin flip and an impulsive selection, that's what we did, impulsive selection, um, we will end up with the presidential slogan, dreams can come true, verify if it's real. That's true. It's true, dreams can come true. Normally people applaud for this, but that's okay. <laughs> um, use more. Um, a random president for the audience uh, has written down a name for the vice president, Anita. It is Anita, <laughs> and our real president will be Anton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, big applause for our president and our vice president, Anita. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, you can leave this over here. Yeah. One more time, Anton and our friend of the vice president. Good. So now I proved I could influence future events. Um, of course, the person who had the most influence on me was my mom. When I was eight years old, she placed me on this children's circus. But as I told you, I got influenced along the way by computers, by teachers, by external events. And in the end, <sighs> it took me 15 years before I had the courage and to really go for my dream and to become a performer. And now I'm traveling all over the world doing shows uh, for celebrities and I had my own TV show. All great. But it took me 15 years. So for you, it's important how long will you can take five years, 10 years, 20, 30, whatever you want. But now would be a good time to start influencing yourself to follow your dreams. If I'm correct, everybody has a little, um, some cards on their seats. Please take them. These are not random cards. These are cards all with a meaning, uh, a quality we like to influence ourselves. For example, love. We like to love more, we like to get more love, but we can also give more love. Uh, happy, happiness. What can we do to really be happy? Health, we all know it. Huh? Exercise more, eat better food, and you'll be healthy. Nobody does it. You can still do it. And of course, the last one, magic. The magic moments in your life. Your dreams, your passions, all these things. I want you to get the influence back, to really follow your dreams. We're going to do a process, and if you follow me exactly, 
we will have a beautiful outcome. First of all, you can uh, shovel the cards as many times as you want, and then place the, the back of the card with the TED logo towards you. Yeah. Now we're going to do the first step. We place our thumb and index finger on top of the cards at the middle and rip the cards in half. Ah. That feels bad, eh? those nice pictures, those lovely kids on the pictures. And place one half on the other half. But that's the thing. If you want to change your habits, you have to break through a pattern. First of all, um, take two or three cards, and really check if it's two or three that they don't stick to, to each other, and place them on the bottom, like this. Very good. Then take three or one card and place them on the bottom again. Now spread out the cards and take the top three cards, only the top three cards, and place them somewhere in the middle. Oh, one more important thing I almost forgot. Take the top card and put it in your pocket or at a safe place where nobody can see it. Very good. Now, take two cards, or three, but you can also take one, <laughs> and place them somewhere in the middle. Very good. Now take three cards, or two, but you can also take four, and place them somewhere in the middle again. Now the most fun part. You take one card, <laughs> and you place it in the middle, or you throw it away. That's what I thought, yes, exactly. <laughs> Next step, you take the top card again, you place it in the middle, or throw it away! Very nice! <laughs> and the next top card, you just throw away! Very good, very nice. Oh, you were into this. <laughs> um, now let's see if we can have some influence. Name a lucky number. <laughs> seven, okay, seven. Um, only take seven cards from the top to the bottom, so one, from the top to the bottom, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really, one from the top to the bottom. Now we have to see if we have influence or not. Are we in control or do we other have a lot of people let us control us? If we're not in control, the first card we put on the bottom. Everybody places the first card on the bottom because we used to be not in control. The next card, we want to be in control, so we throw away. Then again, people try to control us again. We place the next card on the bottom, but we take control back, so we throw it away. The next card, we place on the bottom again. Keep one card at the end. Eh? <laughs> and now we take back control and you throw it away. And then you place the last card on the bottom and you throw the top one away again. Everybody has one card. Then you have to place one in the bottom again and throw the top one away. Very good. <laughs> if you guys take back your influence, something magical will happen. You will have the magic back again. <laughs> Check your cards. You got your influence back again. 